Hey guys! <coughs> Today I'm here to film my review of The Diviners by Libert Bray. And I gave this a 5 out of 5 stones. So let me get rid of the synopsis of this. Evie O'Neill has been exiled from her boring old hometown and shipped off to the bustling streets of New York City and she is positively ecstatic. It is 1926 and New York is filled with speakeasies, sexual girls and rickish, rickish pickpockets. The only catch is that she has to live with her uncle Will and his unhealthy obsession with the occult. Evie worries he will discover her darkest secret, a supernatural power that has only brought her trouble so far. But when the police find a murdered girl branded with a cryptic symbol and Will is called to the scene, Evie realises her gift could help catch a serial killer. As Evie jumps headlong into a dance of a murderer, other stories unfold in the city that never sleeps. A young man named Memphis is caught within two worlds. A chorus girl named Theta, Theta is running from her past. A student named Jirocco hides a shocking secret, and unknown to all, something dark and evil has awakened. So I'm just going to get my review up of this, if I can. I'm going to do this upside down, which isn't. So I'm not of it. So just bear with me a minute, guys. I'll just put the book down. It's not opening. Right, and this is my review. It is meant to be a harmless brag, a little shung off at party after she had a few drinks too many. But when Evie O'Neill proves to everyone that she has a psychic power and the ability to see a person's memories by holding an object of theirs, she lands in one hell of a mess, accidentally accusing the son of a wealthy and powerful family of knocking up made means. Evie better sit down for a while until the heat dies down. She is thrilled when her parents suggest she stay with her uncle Will in Fabulous New York City and just knows this will be a chance to find her way to stardom. Even if she, it does mean working at Will's Freaking Museum, dedicated to the supernatural and I'm going to get a copy of this and to the, and to the occult. But a string of murders, ritualistic murders, lives in the city in terror. The police ask Will to help and Evie is determined to tag along. With her and Jericho, Will's quiet but strong assistance to help. Evie knows that she's not not only will they stop the killer, but she's sure to end up on the front page. That's if she can stay alive first. I will confess that I haven't read many fantasy or young adult books set in the 1920s. In fact, no of us have come to that camp have come to mind. But after finishing the diviners, this is something I strive to change. In the hopes that they are good as Libby's Libby Bray's wonderful book, The Diviners, a somewhat deceptive book, in what starts is in a fairly mild manner, the focus on Evie and her hopes and dreams as she moves to New York. We are shown the paranormal talent that Evie possesses in being able to read a person's history, 
My beloved item as well as explanation as to what the trib- what trouble she caused that ended up with her having to hide out in New York until things calmed down at home. But this is almost forgotten about in nearly the first half of the book. Never fear, though, for instead we are treaded to the gifts and glamour of the Big Apple. The level of descriptions and detail in, the, in this book is amazing. Clearly, clearly there has been a lot of research put into it, and I believe it all pays off for big time. As the story progresses, tension grows as a serial killer attacks, taking pieces of his victims <clears throat> and leaving behind pieces of scriptures about offerings, the whole book becoming deadly and creepier and brilliantly scary. We also get glimpses of other people with talents similar to Evie's, teasing hints of bigger things out there in the world of this story, which sadly won't further unexplored until the rest of the series. The other great thing about the, div- the Diviners is the number of varied and complex characters they are. No one is 2D in this story, and some yet some you might first just dismiss or sh- as shallow or ignorant, but when you learn about their past, you see them in a whole new life and can't help but love them. One of the most moving backstories to me was that of si- Tata, I'm going to put that on a certain hand, of Tata, who may seem a stereotypical black at first, but towards the past so dark, it's like a punch to the gut to read. But then again, some of the best writing is like that. Let me see what else from there. I'm just going to ignore the full review will be on my thing. Bottom line, I love this book, and so begins, well, and obviously, I can't wait to get on to the sequel. Sorry, this video is so long. Um, this was my review of The Diviners by Libra Bray. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.